Let's bring in our chief congressional correspondent, Dana Bash, who just spoke with one very frustrated senator. Dana? That's right. This is a Republican Senator Bob Corker, who I went to talk to because he has been a Republican who has actually worked with the White House on issues on the domestic front and most recently on Syria. And I wanted to know how he thought this, the way the president has handled it would affect his ability to get things done on Capitol Hill. And what I found was somebody exasperated and frustrated who revealed to me that he emailed the White House chief of staff saying that he was disappointed and even said to the White House, you make it very hard to help you. And I really do think they've hurt our credibility around the world uh, just in the muddled way that they uh, have dealt with this, uh, this Syrian issue. It's just a complete muddlement, uh, if you will. And I, I don't know, the president just seems to be very uncomfortable being uh, commander in chief of this nation. He's uncomfortable as commander in chief. You're, you're speaking not just as somebody who's watched him on television or give speeches in person, but had dinner with him recently, had lunch with him yesterday. What makes you say that? I just, it's just the results. I mean, I, I we have these conversations. He, it, it appears that it has an impact. I would think that most Republicans uh, who were at the lunch yesterday would, believe, would have believed last night he was going to make the, the greater case, the strategic case for us in Syria. I heard no word, not one word of it. So it's not that I, I see something interpersonally. He's a very confident person. And candidly, he's very good. I mean, I, I'm talking about interpersonally. I, that's one of the things I've shared with them is they should do more of that because he's very good in an interpersonal setting. He just cannot follow through. He cannot speak to the nation as a commander-in-chief. He cannot speak to the world as a commander-in-chief. He just cannot do it. And I don't know what it is. Has he hurt his credibility with you specifically as one of the few Republicans, frankly, who is really eager to work with him on domestic fiscal issues? Oh, there's no question. I, uh, I probably shouldn't be saying everything I'm saying right now, but uh, I guess it was a result of the last night. My temperature level's up slightly today. He's a diminished figure uh, here on Capitol Hill. I can assure you that. Again, you could see sort of the struggle that Bob Corker was going through to get his words out, my, primarily because he was so exasperated and so frustrated. He said, though, having said that, if the phone rings, it's the president. He will stop anything and pick up the phone from him or anybody at the White House. He's going to still try to work on Syria, on, on fiscal issues and others. But he is very, in his words, very discouraged. Our